हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आल्कोहल्स सो देर आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिएक्शंस फर्स्ट टाइप रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्विंग ओ एच बॉन्ड क्लेवेज एंड सेकेंड टाइप देर इज द फर्स्ट टाइप रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्विंग ओ एच बॉन्ड क्लेवेज सेकेंड टाइप रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्विंग सी ओ बॉन्ड क्लेवेज एंड थर्ड टाइप सी एच बॉन्ड क्लेवेज एंड ओ एच बॉन्ड क्लेवेज एंड टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन दीज टू फर्स्ट टाइप एंड देन सेकेंड टाइप सो देर इज सी एच बॉन्ड क्लीवेज सी ओ बॉन्ड क्लीवेज बोत वी कैन कंसिडर नो सी रियाक्शन इनवालविंग क्लीवेज ऑफ सी ओ एच बॉन्ड एंड इन आल दीज रियाक्शन जस्ट यू अबर्व री एजेंट्स यूज एंड आल दीज कंपाउंड आर सेट बियर प्राइमरी अल्कोल्स देन फर्स्ट टाइप रिएजेंट एच एक्स हईड्रोजन हेलाइड फास्फरस ट्राई हेलाइड फास्फरस पेंटा हेलाइड थयोनइल क्लोराइड आर थयोनइल क्लोराइड ये आल दीज री एजेंट ये वी स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस् टापिक दर्ज हेलोरकिन एंड हेलोरियन एंड दे आर ऐ टोल यूज आफ एच एक्स पी एक्स थ्री पी एक्स फाइव एसोसियल टू एंड दे आर यूज टू रिप्लेस हईड्राक्सी ग्रूप आफ् अलोहल हईड्राक्सी ग्रूप आफ् अलोहल इंटू हेलोजन इंटू हेलोजन But during these reactions, see what happened. During these reactions, C dash O, this bond, C dash O, C O bond break. Then H X, positive and this negative combine. But C O bond break. Therefore, reactions involving C O bond breaking. Yes, these are the reactions. And the halogen atom replaced. These are the third to prepare alkyl halides. Okay, uh, alcohol react with hydrogen halide to form alkyl halide. Phosphorus halide or phosphorus pentyl halide. They also produce uh, what alkyl halide. And uh, associated to reaction there is called uh, Darzin process. In presence of uh, pyridine catalyst, uh, and they can give what alkyl halides. So in all these reactions, CO bond break, CO bond break. So in detail with examples, uh, I explained in uh, hello alkenes and hello in topic. Now today we will study regarding what uh, reactions involving reactions involving uh, what cleavage of C H and O H bond of alcohol C H and O H. But this involve what cleavage of C O H bond, right? C O H bond. third type reactions involving cleavage of cleavage of c oh bond oh bond and ch bond cleavage of there is a ch bond of alkyl group and oh bond of alcohol so this we can study now and under this we will study first regarding dehydration most important reaction dehydration just like dehydrohalogenation in what halolkens here dehydration important reaction now to explain this one we can use any type of alcohol it may be primary secondary or tertiary primary secondary or tertiary alcohol now consider general structure r c c o h h h2 h r c s2 c s2 o h and this alcohol is primary alcohol o h c s2 it is said to be primary alcohol primary alcohol after i'll tell you how to use that second iter here also But first we consider primary alcohol. Yes, in the reaction, primary alcohol. Primary alcohol. Yes, when you react with concentrated sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid, and for ethene, sorry, ethanol to ethene, there we can use a high temperature around one seventy degree. 
at about 170 degree means more than 150 degree okay at higher temperature yes this molecule means alcohol molecule lose uh, water and that water molecule is absorbed by whom sulfuric acid constant sulfuric acid and other reagents also used other deadening agents also used and those may be al2o3 anhydrous aluminium oxide al2o3 or anhydrous zinc chloride orthophosphoric acid h3po4 phosphorus pentoxide p2o5 like this any reagent we can use but preferably yes we can use h2so4 or h3po4 h2so4 or h3po4 they are called best uh, dehydrating agents now this uh, convert means uh, uh, alcohol primary alcohol into r ch double bond ch2 plus h2 and this compound named as alkene r ch double bond ch2 that is called alkene or uh, uh, primary alcohol into alkene okay now i'll tell you uh, in brief how this uh, uh, reaction occur compare c and o electron activity of c and o yes o is more attractive than c hence uh, a bond shift towards oxygen now become this become c plus carbon plus and c plus tries uh, adjacent atom to convert into negative c plus c minus but when it is c minus when it lose h plus when it lose h plus means uh, ch bond undergo heterolytic cleavage co bond undergo heterolytic cleavage therefore H plus OH minus combine and this bond shift here because bond equal to two electrons and two electrons required for formation of a new bond that is a pi bond right one is sigma bond other is pi bond formation of a pi bond okay so this type reaction occur conversion of alcohol into alkene occur but in mechanism I'll tell you in detail there is a step one step two step three how this happen but now we'll use different examples primary alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol and also its reactivity so which alcohol undergo easy dehydration also we can discuss okay anyway uh, any alcohol primary secondary tertiary on heating with dehydrating agent at higher temperature and they lose water molecule or they undergo dehydration to form alkene dehydration to form alkene this is general reaction and also definition then uh, examples different examples uh, now we can study first example ch3 ch2 oh second example ch3 ch oh ch3 third example ch3 c oh ch3 ch3 one degree alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol Yes, name of this one, ethanol or ethyl alcohol. Second, propanol, propane to all, propane to all. And third, two methyl or tertiary butyl alcohol, T butyl alcohol, better right, T butyl alcohol, T butyl alcohol. Or two methyl propane to all, two methyl propane. To all, so write IUPAC name or common name. But here I have written for this common name, this one IUPAC name, IUPAC name. Common names: ethyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, tertiary butyl alcohol. IUPAC names: ethanol, propane to all, and the two methyl propane to all. Now, when uh, such compounds are made to react with or heated with. Uh, concentrated sulfuric acid at about 170 degree and 85% H3PO4 and temperature 167 degree and uh, this one around 20% uh, H3PO4 since the strength is less H3PO4 and temperature only about 85 degree just to observe the conditions in first 
first reaction at cold 170 degree second 167 degree and last 85 degree so this shows what reactivity of alcohol or ease of dehydration yes which is a, a easy to undergo dehydration so answer is tracial alcohol because this require only to 85 degree or less temper lower temperature okay yet if uh, reaction occurs at lower temperature then uh, it is said to be more reactive Hence, the uh, order of reactivity of alcohols towards uh, what uh, dehydration is. Dehydration is uh, 3 degree, 2 degree and 1 degree. So, right, the order of ease of dehydration of alcohols. You try it, uh, tertiary alcohol, first uh, tertiary, second, uh, secondary and last uh, primary. But in case of acidic nature, <coughs> in the previous video, I told uh, acidic nature. <coughs> in case of acidic nature of alcohols, Primary alcohol more acidic than secondary tertiary means 1 degree greater than 2 degree greater than 3 degree. But methanol most acidic compared to 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree. But here remember the order dehydration of tertiary alcohol occur what fastest. Then uh, with the mechanism I will tell you why it undergo easy dehydration. After explaining uh, its mechanism, mechanism of uh, dehydration of uh, ethyl alcohol to ethene that we study in detail. Okay. Now see the product formed. Yes, now only I told uh, how uh, water molecule removed. OH from first carbon, H from very next carbon. That is, if it is alpha, it is beta. Very second carbon or what beta carbon, alpha beta. From beta carbon, remove H. Alpha carbon, OH. H, OH removed. Therefore, it is called dehydration. Then we get a compound alkene. That is ethene. First compound, ethene. CH2 double bond CH2 plus H2. Second. Second, same type. See here. Don't remove H, OH. H, OH is not removed because if H, OH is removed, you don't get double bond. If uh, OH from this, H from this, or right side, any one, any one side, because both are equal, both are equal, any one side you can remove H, H. Here, no rule applied. If uh, unequal H atoms are there on left side, right side, then you uh, try two products and that follows uh, what? Sezef uh, rule or ZCU rule. Sezef rule or ZCU rule. That is also covered in uh, what Hello can topic. Okay. And that also we discuss by taking other example, okay, by applying a ZCO rule. Now, second structure and write, maybe first or second, but now remove HOH from this end, HOH and write here double bond. CH2 double bond CH single bond CH3 plus H2O, plus H2O. Last one, here is the same, see here, right side. 1 CS3, left side 1 CS3, above 1 CS3, all are equal. Therefore, remove H from any one end here or here. Now consider we are removing H from this end. Then write the structure CH2, double bond C, CH3, CS3. Remove H, OH and write double bond. Remaining these three carbon same. Okay. Plus S2, remove of S2. Yes. Now, in all the three cases, what we are getting? Alkenes. We are getting alkenes. So, first compound, ethene. Second, three carbon double bonded. Propene. Propene. And the third, one, two, three. One, two, three. Two methyl. Two methyl. Propene. Or prop one. Yes, you may get in one more questions. Name the product formed or give the IUPAC name of the product formed when T butyl alcohol subjected to dehydration. Yes, answer this one. 2 methyl propene or better write equation and uh, uh, final that is a IUPAC name 2 methyl what propane. Mm. But in all these three compounds, here not applied any rule. Means uh, CGF rule not applied. Okay. But uh, these uh, reagent and conditions, temperature condition and uh, uh, percentage of the reagent, see here, S3PO4, 85%, S3PO4, only 20%. Means, uh, even in the dilute medium or so, or uh, low concentration also, it can undergo dehydration. That, that shows uh, what T-butyl alcohol or tertiary alcohol, 
they undergo easy dehydration compared to primary secondary okay we will take another example where uh, we can study by taking that uh, sage of rule the south right products carbon oh ch ch cs3 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 h hmm. then acid catalyst on heating add constant sulfuric acid or s3po4 okay uh, by adding acid and heat it then there are two possibilities two possibilities a b so first you write remove of h o h from this end and write double bond second possibility o h h removed because uh, before ch here you can see ch before this cs3 group then after means right side only ch means there is a unequal number of h on the what adjacent carbons may be left or right but both are called beta carbons alpha carbon beta carbon alpha carbon beta carbon okay then <coughs> see product formed is ch2 double bond c h ch2 double bond ch single bond chcs3 cs3 yes only i done here oh three remove double return double bond remaining part same next second possible this is a a root b root this root now again remove beta h and oh and write here double bond cs3 c h double bond c cs3 cs3 right now two photos are written in both the cases uh, dehydration occur by adding acid concentrated sulfuric acid or s3 po4 or even alumina okay now we can write uh, iopac names of the product but uh, you see which is major product which is in uh, good yield which one is 80 percent which one is 20 uh, percent okay uh, according to sage of rule if the dehydration of alcohol occur yes if it gives uh, two or more products then the major product is one which uh, which is uh, highly substituted okay c at c double bond c 1 h yet c double bond c 3 h if a c double bond c contain more number of h there is called less substituted less number of h there is called uh, more substituted hence this is 80 uh, percent and this one 20 percent 80 percent 20 percent now are you placing name of the major product is one to double bond one to double bond therefore even with here branch, branch is there right uh, numbering from right to left right to left one two three four now branch name two methyl two methyl four carbon but second position double bond but two in two methyl but two in that is a i place in second compound it is a b compound first one one two three one two yes right side right to left second position branch first, left to right first position double bond therefore according to uh, IUPAC rules yes preference given to double bond yes this compound name 3 methyl 3 methyl but but 1 in yes among the two compound 2 methyl but uh, 2 in is a major product according to sage of rule yes different uh, examples are explained by taking different example like methyl sorry uh, ethyl alcohol propyl alcohol or even isopropyl alcohol 
then uh, tertiary botanical call. <coughs> then uh, uh, get a different temperature, see what happens. If you take alcohol and sulfuric acid. Hmm. Methanol, ethanol, methanol, ethanol. H2SO4 is common, concentrated, H2SO4 and here 27 degree or room temperature 27 degree and uh, here 140 degree, 170 degree. See at different temperatures what happen? <coughs> Normal temperature or room temperature uh, then at 140 degree at 170 degree what happen? When you mix uh, alcohol and sulfuric acid at uh, room temperature, yes, uh, it can form a salt like alkyl hydrogen sulfate because sulfuric acid contain hydrogen ion and uh, bisulfate ion and uh, OH minus and S plus combine and this alkyl group attacks on this. Therefore, we get uh, CH3, CH2, HSO4. This is helpful to solve the CET questions or any competitive exam questions. If it is a low temperature, means below 30 degree, yes, reaction occur. Uh, but we get only salt, you don't get alkene or any other compounds. First, we get RHSO4, alkyl hydrogen sulfate is obtained at normal temperature. Then, on heating, same compound on heating, using same sulfuric acid at about 140 degree, then it can form. CS3, CH2O, CH2, CS3. Two moles, two moles of alcohol means excess alcohol and sulfuric acid less quantity. One test tube contains sulfuric acid and two test tubes what ethyl alcohol. Excess of alcohol plus sulfuric acid concentrated and at about uh, 140 degree. Then again it undergo what dehydration, HOH, HOH removed. Then what do you get? as water and finally what we get ether r o r compounds are said to be ethers so we get ether compound okay at 140 degree ether even up to below 150 degree below 150 degree we get ether okay next last one at 170 degree again you take alcohol but here opposite less quantity of alcohol uh, means one test tube of ethyl alcohol Two test tubes of concentrated sulfuric acid. Two test tubes of concentrated acid on heating at about 170 degrees at high temperature, more than 150 degree up to uh, 200 degree. At high temperature, see what happens. It loses H2O. I mean, this molecule loses H2O. Beta H and O is removed. Then we get CH2 double bond CH2. Ethyl hydrogen sulfate. Next, diethyl ether. Last, ethene. Even in ether chapter, we will study how to prepare ethers. But one of the method is to prepare. That is, my method is what a conversion of ethanol or alcohol to ethers by using constant sulfuric acid. So this shows temperature plays important role in the reaction of alcohol and sulfuric acid. At room temperature, salt is obtained. At uh, below 150 degree, uh, ether is obtained and uh, above 150 degree or up to uh, 200 degree, yes, we can get uh, alkene from alcohol. But if it is methyl alcohol, see what happened, methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol at uh, what temperature, let it be uh, 120 degree, 130 degree. Means uh, methyl alcohol, whether it undergo dehydration, no. It can undergo what means the formation of ether possible. Methanol plus sulfuric acid. Don't say yeah, no reaction occur. No, it can undergo reaction. What dehydration occur again? But uh, uh, dimethyl ether CS3 O CS3 dimethyl ether is obtained by using constant sulfuric acid. Methanol gives diethyl ether. Ethanol gives uh, what? Diethyl ether, methanol gives dimethyl ether, ethanol 
gives a dimethyl ether and also ethene. That depend upon temperature. Next, a very important part that carry three marks. That is a mechanism. Mechanism of dehydration of ethanol to ethene. Ethanol to ethene. So better all of you copy this mechanism, important mechanism and that carry three marks. Mechanism of dehydration of ethanol to ethene. mechanism of dehydration of ethanol to ethene. So even in the other examples, I explained what I mean by mechanism. The detailed step by step description of a chemical reaction. Already we studied here chemical reactions, but how the reaction occur that we have to explain in detail using steps. Then step one, see what happened in alcohol reaction, alcohol into alkene reaction. Step 1, protonation, protonation of alcohol, protonation of alcohol occur, I take example, that is ethyl alcohol, CH3, CH2, OH, Okay, in beaker we take an ethyl alcohol and add concentrated sulfuric acid. But when we add sulfuric acid, see what happens. Sulfuric acid is a best proton donor. It can donate a proton easily. Therefore, H plus reversible to this is a fast step. When uh, sulfuric acid added to alcohol, yes, immediately what protonation occur on O because it is a Lewis base. Uh, alcohol behave as a Lewis base because of lone pair of electron on the oxygen atom. Therefore, electron pair adds to electron pair adds to H plus. Then this become what O H and O is positive because any species after losing electron pair, electron pair, if it is neutral species, neutral, then that change into what? Uh, positive. Therefore, we get uh, CH3, CH3, CH2, O, H, H, O, H plus, H plus, yes, this is ethyl axonium ion. After protonation, yes, what do we get? Ethyl axonium ion or it is also called as protonated ethanol. It is also said to be protonated ethanol or protonated ethyl alcohol. Now it is first step, okay. And don't consider such uh, uh, steps to write uh, order of reaction or even molecularity of reaction. In kinetics, you studied uh, in the multi-step reactions, only slowest step, slowest step uh, what uh, considered to write order of reaction or to write rate law, rate law. But here in the step two, the second step is called slow step and is said to be a rate determining step. That is called a rate determining step. Step two. Step two. Uh, formation of formation of carbocation formation of carbocation see how C plus of this carbocation equal to carbon plus C plus now consider that uh, right side product to the ethyl axonium ion here 
and so how c plus is formed ch3 ch2 oh h plus electron pair then reversible to this is a slow step step to is slow <coughs> hence it is called a rate determining step it is also said to be rds step and this rds step involve one molecule in the reaction therefore it is said, said to have sn1 mechanism or it undergoes a sn1 mechanism or order of the reaction is want to be one then now see uh, o with plus now it is again unstable and it attract bonded pair of electron towards itself and undergoes heterolysis it undergo heterolysis now it become plus therefore we get ch3 ch2 plus and and s2 h h o s2 because plus and minus equal to on uh, what neutral but this bond carry two uh, electron that is a lone pair therefore this carry lone pairs next this is a ethyl ethyl carbo cation but actually it is less stable because methyl uh, group linked with ch2 and only one methyl group and due to hyper conjugation effect it can undergo what resonance or uh, stability its stability due to hyper conjugation effect uh, means on adjacent side there is a h atom carbon with h atom that can undergo hyper conjugation effect and it is uh, stabilized but methyl plus not resonance stabilized or methyl plus even it is not stabilized by any type of uh, electronic effects okay but here it is stabilized by what hyper conjugation effect but it is said to be actually less stable it is a primary carbocation but most stable carbocation tertiary most stable carbocation is a tertiary carbocation but afterwards i will tell you what regarding carbocation stabilities even in helorcan topic i told again i will repeat how this carbocation can rearrange because in previous classes even in this topic i told whenever whenever there is a formation of carbocation carbocation if it is less stable carbocation that undergo rearrangement to give more stable carbocation as i told this is less stable hence this can undergo rearrangement but rearrangement if it undergoes again we get same if h is removed from this end again we get c plus here if h shift this side and again we get c plus but with 2h therefore uh, what no use rearrangement not necessary next uh, step 3 step 3 formation of ethene by the loss of loss of proton formation of ethene by the loss of proton but the proton you see c plus very next carbon is alpha sorry uh, c plus is alpha carbon because in alcohol side told ohc alpha next carbon beta therefore alpha beta means always remember uh, loss of h plus occur proton occur from beta carbon not from alpha carbon therefore c h h2 ch2 plus this is beta carbon this one alpha carbon alpha carbon beta carbon then beta carbon lose h plus and this h plus removed by whom h plus removed by bisulfate ion because sulfuric acid donated h plus and the left part is hso4 minus left one is hso4 minus and that bisulfate ion there, there is a uh, negative charge ion it can attract what uh, h plus from uh, beta carbon then uh, this bond shift ch bond this bond shift towards uh, c plus then we get uh, 
it is also fast step or oh, don't write you have already slow and fast fast step slow step okay but actually it is also fast yes by the loss of s plus then we get a compound c double bond c plus h plus this is ethene conversion of s ethanol to ethene ethanol to ethene so it is better you copy this mechanism in the notebook <coughs> it is important in most of the question papers previous year paper you can refer in maximum paper this question appeared explain the mech or write the uh, what uh, mechanism of uh, dehydration of ethanol to ethene and maybe a uh, two or three mark but usually in uh, three mark question they will set okay now by taking other examples how that uh, carbocation can rearrange that i'll tell you in other examples say rearrangement of the carbocations but uh, now see i'll repeat once again it is important uh, mechanism as i told uh, there are three steps in uh, dehydration of ethanol to ethene and first step you write uh, what protonation of alcohol because uh, when you add alcohol to sulfuric acid immediately electron pair on o undergo what protonation to give what protonated alcohol or uh, ethyl oxonium ion is obtained next uh, uh, this step is said to be fast step so the reaction is very fast and that reaction cannot be considered to write uh, what rate law or to write the order of reaction but in second step see here how pharmo uh, sorry carbocation is formed from ethyl carbocation yes as o plus unstable unstable it attract paired electron towards itself and become neutral there is h2 water molecule and uh, now this undergoes heterolysis and uh, forming carbocation carbocation that is a ethyl carbocation is formed and finally it loses beta hydrogen means beta proton loss of proton occur but from beta carbon very important from beta carbon and forming alkene but this h plus removed by bisulfate ion their base a base bisulfate ion it removes what beta hydrogen and finally we get alkene so this type of to explain but uh, writing explanation not necessary but better uh, write step 1 names and uh, structures but like this you have to indicate in the paper any uh, maybe uh, test papers or in annual exam but better write this method like this only you have to write okay then uh, other examples we can consider in uh, dehydration of uh, ethan uh, what alcohols into alkenes CS3 CH CS3 CH2OH proton heat now we will write uh, two compounds this is a, a one to two methyl propane two sorry one all two methyl propane one all the first possibility uh, remove this h and oh and write here double bond h oh hmm better one matter because uh, right side there is no carbon but to, to compare one more molecule let's write uh, like this ch oh uh, ch2 or uh, here cs3 Hmm. Okay, one side, this side. Two components are formed, but consider when uh, it is protonated according to mechanism. Step one, protonation. Okay, protonation. Uh, this become step one or step two. Last of S two. carbocation is formed now now one let's talk about this carbocation now uh, think uh, right side and left side both are beta carbons and if it rearrange rearrange then if it gives uh, 
more stable carbohydrate then reason is possible and uh, less stable not necessary and here if you remove right side h ch2 plus obtained but ch2 plus primary carbon or for primary carbocation less stable but this ch plus secondary carbocation more stable then you don't get less stable carbocation in the what rearrangements as yes, if uh, uh, this h shift Uh, it is called one to hydride shift. One to hydride shift. Then one to hydride shift. Right. C S three. Then. Finally, on this uh, C plus again right side left side remove H from right or left. But actually this one is formed as a major or 80 percent C plus and 20 percent C H plus. Okay, then remove H from this end you may get this one or this end. But major part this side because less H over. One two three four. This is major part actually. 3 methyl but 2 in 3 methyl but 2 in but if you write direct product cs3 ch cs3 ch oh cs3 okay uh, students may think like this it may be this side double bond this is possible 1 2 3 here position to double bond there first that may be formed but per less percentage about 10 to 20 percent next this is one if oh removed left side remove this double bond one two three four one two three four this compound measure part because i told their mechanism why this compound is measure part because uh, due to rearrangement of carbocation yes we get more stable carbocation that is tertiary carbocation and then we get uh, what alkene by loss of beta proton beta proton so this type we can study dehydration reaction with all the examples i told uh, definition general formulas general reactions and uh, what examples mechanisms and uh, even a revision of that uh, uh, mechanism of dehydration of ethanol to ethane Reactions involving cleavage of CO bond over and last type CO bond and that what uh, CH bond over and one more reactions involving uh, what CH and OH bond again same type that is called oxidation sorry second D hydrogenation dehydrogenation see in case of dehydrogenation what happened dehydrogenation meaning uh, removal of h2 correct removal of h2 so it is better we will continue dehydrogenation and remaining reactions and mechanisms in uh, next class there is a next video okay thank you